Rap Shack. We kicking it with the Rap Shack. 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 You know what I'm saying? Tune in. Yeah. Rich Brown with the motherfucking dance moves. What happened to that last dude? Nigga should have watched the fucking last news. Chris Brown with the motherfucking dance moves. What happened to that motherfucking last dude? You nigga shit You a motherfucker back. Episode 10 is episode 10, man. It's a motherfucking milestone, man. We, you know, I'm happy, man. I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy we back, too, man. We, we had a couple of little things. I had a couple of days we've been slacking, bullshitting, but we go get little, it together. Little for family sure. shit going on. Just there. family shit. It ain't even bullshit, but you know. But we good though. We back. Episode ten, man. You feel me? Stacking crates, rap shack, Corey B. What's been up, Kyle? What you been doing? Shit, just trying to live life and get back to this. And I need to get back to the gym, man. That's my main. That's my main goal right now. Fuck the gym, man. These oh. motherfuckers just hit me for a hundred and fifty dollars. Well, I've been paying one ten every every month. <laughs> and I ain't even been there. That's <laughs> right. my problem. I've been catting, so these niggas hit me for a hundred and fifty. I was upset. <laughs> they got you for the cleaning. And feed. I didn't even know. The yeah, yearly that feed. shit was ridiculous. You feel me? Um, we was talking a little bit before the mics cut on and shit, but yeah. How you feel about that Grammy shit? I, I, you showed me the Sam Smith mm. shit. That shit was ridiculous with the uh, devil shit. All right, so I tried to stay out of the conspiracy shit, but uh, this was pretty fucking blatant to have. And Sam Smith, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, come on. Like, you, you were blowing up. You already big. You don't need to fucking do all this weird shit and devil shit unless you're really into it. Right. You know what I mean? And y'all dancing around with fucking demons around you and, and horns. <laughs> And fucking talking about Balenciaga after all this shit came out about that, and he's still and he's still on it. Right. So I don't know. I'm just gonna say, uh, you need to you need to stop that shit, man. That shit's weird. Yeah, that shit was crazy. He just showed me off camera, and I was kind of like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, I seen some clips earlier that was talking about you know hella conspiracy theorists and shit, and just saying hella shit about it. But I was like, man, I ignore that shit all the time. But when I seen it. In front of me, in my own eyes, like live, I'm, I'm like, all right, this is y'all just blatantly doing it. Yeah, you don't even sure. care no more. Yeah, well, at this point, it was either that or they just know that um, you're gonna talk about it. You know what I mean? We that's, gonna talk about it. it. So it. it's either that or it's really, really smart shit. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Most times, it usually does do that for somebody's career too. Because I definitely, I mean, I, I'm not really into the Sam Smith type music, but I ain't really heard or seen nothing about him lately. So. Well, Sam mm. Smith is a beast. Yeah, you know, okay. you know, uh, he's, yeah, he's. I know he's, he's a fire. beast, yeah. but man, you know, he, the industry got a hold of you, bro. They controlling <laughs> your ass. Yeah, and then, and then Offset and these niggas was chunking him in the back. Him and um, Offset and Quavo, they was fighting because uh, they was gonna do the little tribute to uh, you know, uh, what's his name? R.I.P. Takeoff. Takeoff. Yeah. And um, rest in peace. I guess Quavo wasn't fucking with him. He wasn't, you feel me, letting that nigga get on the stage. Shit, and fired him up. I don't know. I don't know if that's the truth. I'm just saying some bullshit, man. I didn't even know they <laughs> fought until you told me. Yeah, I, yeah. That's what the word is right now. You feel me? They got in a fight, and then you see they got the only video mm -hmm. is you see Cardi B, which is uh, Offset's wife or whatever, mm -hmm. talking about uh, you both you niggas is – both you niggas is wrong, and both you niggas is wrong, and you, you feel me, some shit like that. So she was yelling in the middle, mm -hmm. of it, just like females do. You feel me? So, uh, but yeah, that's what that was about. I don't really know about that. How you feel that you don't, uh, you know, some Listen, brother man, shit. brothers fight. You know what I mean? That's how I feel like. They're brothers. Shit happens. That's yeah. what, you know what I mean? They're going to handle it. They'll be fine. And they're both hurt. You yeah, know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. So it's like they're, they're both hurt and they, you know, they, they going through it. It's going to be mm -hmm. a lot of that type of shit. Yeah, they'll be fine. I don't really see that as like a big deal to me. Man, let's talk about that My People's movie. Or, or, it's not My People's. What's you it people, called? You people. you people. That shit was, yeah. that shit was dope. I liked it. You feel me? For the record, I loved it. How did you feel, you feel me? And I'm in an interracial relationship, you feel mm -hmm. me? I've been, you feel me, for 17 years, you feel me? So I definitely related to a lot of the shit that was going on in there, even though it was like Lauren London was, you know, the woman or whatever, but it was just the cultural shit. I definitely felt some of that shit. 
Mm-hmm. And I felt the side with the Jews too, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I it definitely being in an interracial relationship. <laughs> hey, for real. That's just recording now. Yeah, fuck it. We still lit, man. But uh, what was we talking about? Talking about oh, we talking about my people. Yeah. yeah. So like I said, I've been in a relationship. And I and I felt some of them things, you know what I mean. And I definitely felt some on the the Jew side what they were saying because of me being in a relationship. I kind of you know definitely mm-hmm. can understand and have more uh, empathy for you know the white culture. I just like how they have or movies. other cultures that you're in. Period. You know what I mean. I think it's good to have movies like that in general, so you could you know learn a lesson from it. There's a lot of lessons in that fucking movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How'd you feel about it? Um, well, see, growing up, my best friend, John, his his dad was black, his mom was white and Mexican, and so, um, and I used to go to their church all the time, that's like my second mom and dad, I mean, I grew up with them, their sisters watched me and shit, so, it, you know, just even walking around with them and getting the weird looks and, and stuff like that, just that randomness that mm-hmm. you don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, you know, watching that movie and watching, you know, fucking Eddie Murphy as the, as the hardcore dad and... <laughs> the, the the straight face is exactly yeah. remind me of my best friend's dad right. like the way he acted and made his made his daughters dress a certain way and <laughs> right. the, the skirts had to be past the mm-hmm. knees and they went to an apostolic church you know so yeah. uh you know that was just watching that and then that just it's just fucking everything came back to me watching yeah. the movie so it was just super dope yeah and then uh you know shout out to lauren london she's fucking dope yeah, uh, she was real. dope in that movie she's always dope though mm-hmm. um so yeah, I don't know. It was just cool to watch something mm-hmm. like that, and then you know, obviously they were doing a podcast, and then, so that was fucking dope too. <laughs> yeah, that shit. I was fucking with that when right. I see that. I was like, yeah, because you know, me and my girl was watching it, of course. And we, you feel me? I was like, yeah. And then as soon as they break up, you feel me? As soon as we they break up, man, they rise. You feel me? Right. <laughs> the, yeah. the podcast blew up to fucking complex. So I was mm-hmm. like, oh, this shit lit. <laughs> and then you know, one of the things they talked about on the podcast, he said, you know the we're never going to get along. Is that what she said? What she yeah. Said? So, <laughs> it was hella funny too because she was like, <laughs> he was like, the the thing, and we going to steal that. He was like, uh, what's your podcast about? He was like, the culture. <laughs> right. What, what, <laughs> what, what culture is that? <laughs> <laughs> I was dying, man, but that shit was hilarious, bro. I fucked with that movie. It was yeah. a little quick. Um, as like a director as a video nigga myself i kind of seen like it seemed like too fast like shit was just happening and i wonder they rushed it yeah Yeah, and i was wondering at the end especially yeah but for me it was just like the whole story at the beginning was kind of rushed like they immediately was just in love or whatever and and it was just kind of rushed i didn't like that Uh, (laughs) but yeah what do you think of the rabbi talk about (laughs) yeah man Today we got another special guest in this motherfucker, man. Uh, he Long won a South. He won a South Sax, man. You feel me, rising niggas? He been out here. You feel me? He been he been next to live nigga for I don't know how long. I be watching. I still be watching old videos of live and seeing your ass in that motherfucker. Look at this nigga. He, this nigga. You feel me? He official. You feel That's me? Better. Um. He's coming, you feel me? He been, for the last couple years, you feel me? He been hit me, we been working, he been, you feel me? The nigga comes and drops flames, you feel me? Uh, My nigga banked up four times, man. What's happening? Man, what's up with it, man? You know, welcome. Again for this shit, man. Iraq for show. Yes, sir. Yeah. Iraq. South Sack Iraq, man. You feel me? Yeah, These for show. Yeah, that's where I fuck with him, man. He be having me in the most dangerous spots, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about like ridiculous. You feel me? That for me, but he be you know, and and I respect this. This is one thing I do respect, bro. He be out there dolo and not giving a fuck. Like you, what you always tell me, I'll be like, bro, you got the thing on you. Are you good? You be like, nigga, what you always damn near tell me? Man, they ain't, I ain't worried about nothing, man. I'm prepared for whatever. <laughs> Straight like that. Exactly. Yeah, I ain't gonna scare no man. Yes, sir. Man, I don't fear no. Dude, yeah, for sure. Uh huh. And then, mm-hmm. and I can vouch it, bro. He be out there. You feel me? In dangerous spots, nigga. You feel me? Uh, 
So what's up, my nigga? What's, what's been up, man? You man, feel me? Working, working, putting yeah. on for this banked up shit, man, while they sleeping on us. Yes, sir. Man, they gonna notice us, man. They gonna notice the whole team, because we coming. Yeah. For surely we're coming. But niggas is already, like, noticed. You feel man, me? Man, not noticed enough. Yeah. Well, we need some real notoriety around this motherfucker. Yeah, for man, real. Not no on, a, on, on the next level type shit. On the next level, because yeah. we're not jabronis. Well. And we're not pretty Tonys either. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? We're in our trenches. Yes, man, sir. trying to still get it. Still yeah. living our life. Humbly. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Not worry about nothing. Mm-hmm. For sure. Hey, come closer to the mic or bring or bring the mic closer to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, nah, I respect that, bro. Uh, I seen you was out there with fucking lab recently. You went man. out to Houston, nigga. Man, like man. dropping hot shit, man. <laughs> working with brother, man. Doing this movie. We got this movie Jealousy coming soon. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Be tuned into that, man. This uh, it's a it's a wonderful thing when you got brothers really doing something. You feel me? Yeah. So he really showed a nigga some real love, man. That's my brother. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? No, you know, man, just real nigga. Yeah. Stand up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They need to give him his flowers. He worked too hard. Yeah. He did what I'm saying. So you know, I got a little bit of you know good wisdom, good game, good information. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Came back to the city, man. Time to tear it up. Yeah. You know, fuck it up. Hell yeah. Is that nigga's house really that big, bro? I be man. seeing the nigga pictures, bro. Yeah, I'm like, I, nigga, goddamn. He got some a nigga dream up. <laughs> for real, yeah, for sure. It's it's you know official, then. He, he, he worked hard for everything. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When you when you, you dedicate it and you hungry, you yeah. gonna, you gonna get it. Yeah, you dig mm-hmm. what I'm saying? No, I respect that. How'd you meet him? Like, man, we grew up together. You know what I'm saying? His mm-hmm. his older cousin is my right hand man, my boy. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay. We've been tied in since youngins. Yeah. Since since you know, back in the day. Yeah. Grasshoppers, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's before the it's before this rapping. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, it's it's uh it's deeper than rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm supporting my nigga hundred percent, you know what I'm saying? Pushing my nigga hundred percent. So yeah. I'm with the movement, man. We we self shack, you know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna stop sleeping on us. They gonna hear us. Yeah. For surely. No, for real. I respect that too. Like I said, bro, like if anybody's loyal to his lab, it's your ass, nigga. It's you, yeah. the other nigga, bankroll. Like just man. visually, I don't know what goes on behind the scenes or whatever, but just from the public perception, you feel me? I yeah. definitely always see your ass in every man, fucking that's video. My nigga. I support you. know man, what I mean? Whatever yeah. for my nigga, man, is good. From day one in the most yeah. hottest videos, you man, feel me? What? Man, we we're not worried about nothing. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of jabronis out here. They say they do a whole lot of hide behind the computer screen. Yeah. But we mm-hmm. out here in the field, though, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. In sack, nigga, for real. That's crazy. Yeah. So I mean, how 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 you been feeling about the beef, man? It's been I mean, it's been kind of in a in a way, bro. It's kind of been like a uh, like that's almost like played out. Yeah, yeah. You know, we ain't worried about them. Mm-hmm. You know, we let them do their thing. Yeah, we doing us. You know what I'm saying? We worried about this family tree. Yeah, Yo. you know what I'm saying that's all we focused on the prize. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, they got what they got going on. We got what we got going on. You know what I'm saying? If it's up, it's up. It's whatever. Yeah. It, you know, it's down. That's whatever. So we just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Minding our own business, not worried about nobody else business. That's yeah. it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, What do you say to some niggas who say kind of like uh, the the brand of Banked Up is kind of declining? Nah, man, they tripping. Mm-hmm. We going up, man, you know what I'm saying? We been up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We ain't worried about what the public say because the public is going to keep speaking. Yeah. But they ain't going to run across us, though, saying that in our face, though. You dig what I'm saying? They ain't going to mm-hmm. say we declining in our face. Right. They gonna they gonna tweet about it, you know what I'm saying? So we gonna let them tweet about it, you know what I'm saying? Have at it. Yeah. But we know what's going on, you know what I'm saying? We on that elevator, on an elevator. We ain't taking the stairs, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So shit. <laughs> Talk about your music process, like, because it seems like you like I shoot a lot of your videos. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And it'd be a lot of like you just be freestyling and shit. Like nah, you feel man, me? Do I you just, go in there and write? Do you know? You know? I just feel the beat and I just just do what it do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be like nobody else but me. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I don't need to write sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I just go in, 
do what I have to do. I'm out that motherfucker. On to the next. I ain't gonna wait on nothing though. No. I ain't gonna have nobody prolong what I have to do. You dig what I'm saying? I'm gonna figure this shit out. I'm gonna work around it. Mm-hmm. So that's what I keep doing. You feel what I'm saying? <coughs> so I just I just like the music. I like I love rapping. So I'm gonna just keep at it. That's it. <coughs> Who's the hottest nigga in banked up? It's a few of them. It's a, it's a lot of them. It's a lot of hot pistols around this thing. You dig what I'm saying? We got, we got Dre D8. You dig what I'm saying? Dark Vader. We got Dolio going stupid. Fat Filthy. You know, he stay coming. Mm-hmm. We got YB going crazy. Bankwell. You dig what I'm saying? He doing this thing musically and acting wise. You dig what I'm saying? Got a little thing coming out. T- you know, tune into that. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm working hard. We got banked up Quail going stupid crazy. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? We got Menlo going crazy. We got a we got a call roster. We got Grizz going crazy. You dig what I'm saying? We got a lot of people doing a lot of projects, you know what I'm saying? So we just keeping our foot on their necks. Yeah. How'd you feel when um Briss had died? Because I know y'all, like you said, South Sac. I know y'all all kind of close out there and shit. You know, what was your what was your feeling? You feel me? No, it was fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? And you know, in this day and time, there ain't no plan, ain't no loafing, ain't no lacking. You gotta keep your head on a swivel. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's just a time where you know I felt he got too comfortable in the situation that just fucked me up. You feel me? Because right now this is where you gotta be most protected, most alert of everything going on around you because now everything's at a high stake you know what i'm saying yeah for real the, the price got higher so yeah. mm-hmm. you know i just learned from it and just like man that's a little brother you feel me so we got to keep pushing for little brother you know said yeah period you got any projects coming out like what, what type of shit you want you know i got a few mixtapes coming out you feel me I got a... Because you just be hitting me for videos just randomly, yeah, so I'll be... I got, and and it be five videos at a time, and then yeah. you, we'll talk for a, mile, a while, and then yeah. next thing you know, you feel me? I so. just be working. I just be dropping hella audio right now. But now my main thing right now, my main focus is doing more visuals. Mm-hmm. So I got, a, you know, I got like seven mixtapes, eight mixtapes out. Mm-hmm. So I'm about to just do a lot of visuals for that thing, you feel me? So then I'm about to come with my real album. You yeah. feel me? Do mixtape that shit out. Mm-hmm. I'm about to come with this real thing now, really get, you know, get crafty on these boys, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Name some of those mixtapes for me. Uh, I got Oops, you feel me? I got uh, Total Disrespect. Uh, man, I keep it real, I can't even think of a whole lot of them right now. <laughs> oh, God, and, I, and I believe it, because this nigga, he be, even when we shoot videos, he don't even be remembering the words. You get what I'm saying? Because that's how right. much work he actually does. Yeah. You Nigga, I got 99 songs. <laughs> like, goddamn, yeah. nigga. He I, literally sends me the songs, and then we just pick through. We might man. even switch it when we get there. Like, man, man let's do this one. You know what I mean? Man, I, just, I, just, I, just, I just let it work, you feel me? It's, it just, it's just a fact that, you know what I mean? You're free. Nobody can tell you anything when you're in that booth. Yeah. You just don't come with no wax it. You feel me? Just have your own little persona. You feel me? Your own mm. little swag. Yeah, for your real. Own, your own little story. I'm not trying to copy not a rapper. Yeah. Surely. For real. I just, I just work on me. You feel me? Work on being the best I could be. Yeah, I dig what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I'm not worried about no feature. If it come, it come. But that's not my main thing to get somebody that's hot to make my shit hot. Hell nah. Of course. I'm gonna make my shit hot. You feel me? Make you hop on some hot shit to get on some hotter shit. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, for real. So I just feel like now they lost like the, the way rap is right now. The little competition of it went to went the other way versus letting it just be music. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know, nowadays you're paying a price for the words you speak. Mm-hmm. So, you know, be careful on what you say if you're not willing to take that consequence. You dig what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. So, I know I know what I signed up for when I was a young kid. Yep. Dead homies. Mm-hmm. I know what I signed up for and I'm still living by that script. That's why I'm here today. Yep. You dig what I'm saying? Because I know it's out there and I ain't gonna be too comfortable how big or how little I get. I'm going to mm-hmm. still keep it, you know what I'm saying, vicious. Yeah. I ain't lacking. And it's crazy, too. I believe you, nigga, because you really be outside, nigga, everywhere. You feel me? Like I said, 
Every time I see you, nigga, you be outside. <laughs> and it, do you think it's because you got a big ass family or something? Because like, I, I met him. I actually met him through his brother. Is he your older brother or younger brother? That's my little brother. Younger brother. <laughs> His name, uh, his younger brother named Marcus. Yeah. Shout out my nigga Marcus from Sack, man. That's my nigga, man. Uh, but he basically, uh, he was shooting videos. He was rapping, trying to get in the rap game. And, you know, get, he had hit me up for a little video thing. And we just did hella videos. Him and Flawless and shit. Yeah, and yeah, I, and I seen their whole family. They got a real big, you yeah, know, family that dope. look definitely tied yeah. into the South Sack for sure. You yeah, feel me? Is that family, you feel me? So. I got a lot of little cousins, you feel me, little brothers. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just try to be the role model, try to be the best I could be, you feel me? You the oldest out of everybody? Yeah, I'm the oldest, you mm-hmm. dig what I'm saying? How many so, siblings you got? So I got three brothers and a sister, you dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just recently lost my one of my little brothers, you feel me? So, Fuck. Mm-hmm. What, what happened What, what happened with that? You know, I know, you, I remember you was little, telling me. You know, a bad little situation, you dig mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know. Got over that. Now it's time to get to the next level. Push for him. You dig what I'm saying? That's what he had want me to do. Versus yeah. sitting, you know, and, and be mad and cry about the situation. Versus take care of my business and keep pressing. You dig what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm gonna keep pressing. You ain't gonna turn that into uh, like that pain into the nah. music. Yeah, yeah, for surely, mm-hmm. for surely. Before we move on, man, we definitely forgot to do the 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 shot. You feel me? The Rap Shack shot that we always do, oh, man. Yeah. Episode 10, man. Yeah. My nigga Photon. Oh, oh yeah. He, he got ahead of the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been he, <laughs> hey, three in. Yeah, it's the third one. for real. <laughs> I'm excited. This is that 50 Cent brand right here. Come yeah, on. we sipping on that Branson, yeah. man. Yeah, my uh, yeah. My nigga. It's cool, yeah. Episode my boy. 10, man. Yeah. Yeah, episode 10, my boy. We sipping on that 50. That Branson today, man. That shit is fire. Yeah. And I don't like alcohol again. That shit tastes sweet after. Yeah, it's sweet, though. <laughs> got that fucking sweet honey taste after. Yeah. Mm. So let's get gritty, my nigga. Yeah, what's in it? So you see DB speaking on niggas, man. He you had me. He had mentioned the stars, man, and, and a thing. How, how did you feel? Not because he not only was he dissing certain people, then he just generalized everything. DB the general. No, you feel me? Yeah, no funny said when it. When he said the stars, he bring a whole lot of people into the situation. Yeah, you dig what I'm saying? First and foremost, bro, corny. Bruh, is a real life bitch. Bruh, still trying to chase something that he ain't gonna never get. You mm. dig what I'm saying? Bruh's outdated. Mm. But uh, first and foremost, I'll beat his ass, though. You dig what I'm saying? When I see him, <laughs> yeah. I, ain't, I ain't gonna give him no handshake and a pat on the back. Nigga, I'm gonna break his jaw. Damn. You dig what I'm saying? Straight like <laughs> that. You feel me? That's how serious this shit get, man, because there's a lot of people who die for this star shit. You dig what I'm saying? Right. You know, this shit serious. Then, you know, how you a general with no army? Mm. Bitch ass nigga, you're nothing. He just a nigga with a loud, squeaky voice. Mm. You feel me? Think you can still rap, mm. but but no, you can't. Mm. Bunk, bunky of the year, mm. young boy. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause it ain't no open verse sack. Not nah, just the nigga that weak rap. You know what I'm saying? The nigga just talk a whole lot. You dig what I'm saying? Say a whole lot of police ass shit. We don't really care about. You dig what I'm saying? So, yeah. He gonna get a clear message. You dig what I mean? <laughs> Man, damn, man. Why niggas on DB, man? Uh-huh. DB the homie, man. He a friend of the, of the shack, for sure. Yeah, you feel me? He a dick rider of the shack. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Ain't nobody else giving that nigga, though. Kind of, kind of love. You dig know what I'm saying? So he better, he better try to call all the resources he can. You dig know what I'm saying? Because uh, he fucking up. Man. He, doing, he doing a whole lot of shit that's making a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. This shit gets serious. Could it be resolved or is it only just chunking him? Man, that nigga, break his jaw, shut him all the way up. See, <laughs> he just talk too much. Right. You know what I'm saying? He do a lot of this and a lot of that that he don't need to do. Mm-hmm. Just do what you have to do. You speaking on niggas to spark your career again. Right. Man, shut the fuck up. Yeah. That's all I got to say. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Period. And there no you have it, man. Around, no shit around this motherfucker. God damn, man. 
It's, it, it be awkward, nigga, sometimes when you know both sides, man, and you're actually cool. And you don't try to be in the middle of the shit. You know, like, you yeah. ever get in a situation where it's like, like, bro, like, <laughs> you're, you're three friends, and then these two start fighting. All the time. Or they're mad at each other. All the time. All the time. So, like, what do you do if you're the third friend? You get what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what I do. Fight for 30 seconds. Of course. Yeah, you can do that. You can do that. (laughs) Solve the scenario real quick. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Fight for 30 seconds. That's one way to handle it. (laughs) Yeah. Y'all don't get too bad. Buddy want to grab a pistol. It's over. For real. It's a wrap. No, see, uh, I would invite, what I was doing, I just really just went through this whole, whole shit. <laughs> for real? So, so this is some real shit for you, dude. No, this is some, some crazy, yeah, it's three of us, you know, we've been close for 30 years. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm not going to say ex- what happened because it was just like <laughs> fucked up, but at the end of the day, I had two of them fighting, arguing. Mm-hmm. I didn't agree with one, so it sucked because it was kind of like <laughs> two versus one. Yeah. <laughs> but... I still understood both sides of the you story. See, yeah, so, like. <laughs> and then the other fucked up part is when I got off the phone with the best friend, I told him he was acting like a bitch. Mm. And he fights everybody over that. So then when I told him that and I said it and I was his friend for 30 years, he shut down. He was like, he took me it. a bitch. He didn't yeah. talk to me for a minute. <laughs> wow. But then we started talking and we, uh, we, we got back to understanding. Yeah. But then the other two friends weren't. And so... I would like invite one over, but not the other one, <laughs> and then kind of go back and forth. Eventually, I was like, "Oh, but Le- look, oh, y'all gotta talk. We're gonna okay. all fucking meet up. We're gonna drink. <laughs> right. and we're gonna fucking handle it. Whether you want to fight it out right. or you want to fucking figure it out, because we're hanging out. We've right. been fucking friends for thirty years. Exactly. Fuck y'all. Right. So yeah. that's how I had it. And that in the streets is why I brought it up is because that would be considered playing sides. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Niggas call that playing the fence when it's like, bro, and that's how I be feeling sometimes. Like, I'm always the nigga, bro. I know yeah. a lot of niggas, bro, and, and I really fuck with them. And it be like, nigga, it ain't my fault. Y'all two niggas is beefing, nigga. Like, I don't, you feel yeah, me? It's not your fault somebody <laughs> else is corny. But it sucks, corny, though. You dig what I'm saying? It's not your fault somebody else is corny. <laughs> Hey, this corny. You dig what I'm saying? You just having a fuck with a corny nigga. Shot. You dig what I'm saying? You just fuck with a cornball. You dig what I'm saying? Come it's on, not your man. fault. You just doing what you have to do. You getting your chippers. He's I still re- going to be a cornball when he come to right. you. Right. I respect leave you. that. You dig man. what I'm saying? For so, real. I can respect so, that. So, so I don't be mad at you. I don't be worried about it, man, because a cornball is a cornball, no matter how you put it. In front of you, and, 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 you know what I'm saying? Not in front of you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, there you have it, man. Hey, at least he's being real about how he feels. DB, man, that's fucked up. DB going at everybody, too. He He's stupid. Wild. He's a hoe. Hey, and that's like a person with a period just mad at the world. Like, you wake, like what side of the bed did you wake up on mm-hmm. to want to address everybody that's really doing something? You ain't doing, bitch. You can't even drive a car. Mm-hmm. You don't got a license. You, you, you failed like six times. <laughs> Damn. <What? laughs> so were you around when uh, during Mac Blast? Man. Did you, I know you were, but did you Man. were you in the video? Yeah, bro. First thing that nigga did when he see me, bro, can I get a cigarette? Oh, that little mm-hmm. guy. <laughs> hey, what the fuck, nigga? You don't got no cigarette, DB? Mm-hmm. Bitch, nigga, don't ask me for nothing. Nigga, go do the video. Mm-hmm. He was he was looking kind of spooky. He didn't know what was going on. Was real real goons around that thing. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Were you in the video? You? I was in the cuts, man. Like yeah. I'm supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I ain't know you know like that. I ain't worried about that mm-hmm. shit. You feel me? I don't, I don't remember seeing, but yeah, yeah. yeah, I was there for sure. <laughs> he said I was definitely there. I was there. My boy was looking like a straight cornball. I was wondering, like, who? how did niggas feel? Because Lab clearly they fell out. So, like, how do you, how do you think? What, what's the? I mean, you can't speak for everybody, you know. No, but no. at the same time, like, what's your perception of it? Like, how do you think niggas is feeling? He's crazy about it. Like what you uh, know? Like what 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 inspired him to even say some stupid ass shit like that? You feel me? Like we don't do the police shit. You dig what I'm yeah, saying? There's yeah, too much yeah. shit going on. So, going on. So. But what did he? What do you think he did to laugh for laugh to hate that nigga like that? He's corny. You know <laughs> So that's the reason, I like he he feels like man that nigga's just okay. He's like, I bro, he feel ain't it. on our level. He ain't on the level. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. He ain't like that. He he the type of person puts you in jeopardy. He's a liability. He'd never be an asset to a camp. Mm-hmm. That's why he DB the solo general. He's only generating himself. Mm-hmm. That's it. He don't got no army. He ain't he ain't, he ain't got no motion. Mm-hmm. He stands still. You dig what I'm saying? So. 
Oh, he's yeah. a joker. We really just laughing at that boy right now. You dig what I'm saying? Cause <laughs> we'll pull up down. on him if it's serious. You dig what I'm saying? Right. Hey. <laughs> <coughs> Damn, man. Well, <laughs> what's up with you and um? What was the beef with Wack One Hundred? What What he say? I know you niggas was man, mad. You know, I remember he just be speaking on some stupid ass shit that he don't need to speak on. Police ass nigga Same number two. Same type of shit. Yeah. Cornball number two. You dig what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's like, what is you really doing? You ain't put nobody from your hood on. You going outside your 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 crevice to you now put others on, man. Come on, that's not that's not respected, man. Right. You speaking on the wrong shit. That's not respected. You not you not a good fighter. That's not respected. <laughs> you hide, you know what I'm saying, behind the police. Not respected. He's a bitch. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? For surely. You know what I'm saying? He's a nigga that he'll beat his ass. He'll come on his podcast and speak and tell lies about it ASAP. Mm-hmm. Just to clear just to clear up the situation of him getting his ass beat. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll make sure you'll go to jail. The way he's speaking. Mm-hmm. Fuck the clubhouse, nigga. The fuck I need to go speak with motherfuckers <laughs> in a big ass chat room speaking on some bullshit. The fuck all oh, y'all sound like rats. Yeah, they be on there wilding too, bro. Yeah, weird. Where they the do. Fuck? They, who, they them niggas who, be on there wilding. Who sit down? Who sit down and want to secure be security for a motherfucker? That's man, come on. They got some long weird ass shit going on around this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. This ain't this ain't like you know what I'm saying back in the day, man. This shit different. This shit is totally different. They raised wrong. Yeah. They raised totally wrong. You dig what I'm saying? Damn, man. Oh, yeah, man. I don't know, man. I want, oh, I want peace, man. I, I, Me too. You, he, but he said there's only one way to get it, man. Sometimes, man, but man. I, I do respect that. Sometimes man, there's only one way marks, to get that man. shit. There's so many marks speaking on shit. Let's like, damn, shut the fuck up. Why do y'all got to keep? It's like, damn, nowadays, you will go to jail just from the internet. Yeah, you don't even get, you wouldn't even get caught. Mm-hmm. Somebody else seen you, recorded you, right? Put you on camera. You thought yep. you got away? They are not gonna your motherfucking dog, nigga. You over here viral and shit. Mm-hmm. That'd be facts. Facts, like what the <laughs> fuck is you doing? Hell yeah. So I stay out. Of, I stay out the way. You dig what I'm saying? I stay out the way. Raise my kids. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what I enjoy the most. You mm-hmm. dig? Raising my boys, you know what I mean. Yeah, how many kids you got? I two? got three boys. Three boys for real. So you know, that's my pride of joy right there. How old are they? Three, five, and seven. So you know, Ooh, busy. Nah, not too busy, man. I'm I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I don't <laughs> got a boo y'all try. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got I got a maintainable group. You did. Yeah, yeah, for real. That's cool. Yeah, three ain't bad. I was gonna, you feel me? Most niggas come here at seven. I'm like, damn, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> you got seven kids? He is out of control. Niggas are tripping. <laughs> Hold on, let me check that real quick. So, I seen you, and it was that, a, what was that little boxing shit? Was it a celebrity boxing nah, match, nah, nigga? It's a little shit my nigga be putting on for the, you know, community. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that ring and show up. That shit was lit, though. I, I seen know. my nigga in the head. It was like, they, they host like some kind of, what is it, the g- gloves up, guns yeah, down? Yeah, yeah, gloves up, oh, yeah, guns down. Yeah, before, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was actually one of the fighters, you feel yeah. me, out there. He was yeah, banging I'm the nigga. For sure, I'm for sure getting that thing. <laughs> I ain't denying nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You want to get your noodle fry with these two fisters? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Where did the uh, where the what, did, what you had a left hook? I remember yeah, that, but a little that, a strong left yeah, a strong or something. Left, you feel man, me? A right hand with a strong left. <laughs> yeah, that's cold. I remember watching the video. I was have like, this is going. I have see your it. Front tooth wiggling, mm-hmm. boy. You be upset <laughs> that day. We jiggling. Y'all come from wrong. like a boxing family or something? Yeah, yeah, or yeah, I, come from, I come from a boxing family. I could tell because we did a couple videos with your, you know, with your bro, and he, you know, he oh, definitely went to the boxing gym, and they was really in it. They had. Couple real fights, you know. 
These is your weapons. These oh, two cool. hands. You dig what I'm saying? These are gonna protect you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That other shit is, you know, that's that other shit. But these at the end of the day gonna get somebody up off you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Some some they just curl up nowadays. They like, fuck that, I ain't swinging a punch. I'm taking all these socks. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. I'ma knock you out. I'm gonna punch, I'm gonna punch your noodle out your head, boy. <laughs> Break your nose. Right. For sure. For real. Two punches. I'm gonna make sure of it though. <laughs> Two uh, punch Johnny. Boop boop! Oh, <laughs> dropped him. Hey, Hot sack of he shit. Was all to, I, I, I seen the I seen the footage. You feel sure. me? I seen it. It was lying. Yeah, yeah he sure. ain't lying Put about it. Put DB in some gloves and dropped it. <laughs> Knock his head off his shoulders. Bowling pin. Hey, <laughs> for sure. Maybe we can set that up instead of a, a breaking the nigga face. Man, yeah, man. That Hopefully. boy a buck twenty. He gonna be like, hell no, nah, I ain't doing that. I got shit. gloves, I got mouthpieces, on, I got man. head pieces. I, I got it all right. in there right now. I, you know, I'll set it up. <laughs> I'll beat his ass, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Give him a dose of his own medicine, set the donkey up, because he's not a goat. He want to be the goat so bad. Mm, yeah. man, shut the fuck up. Hey, get out of here, nigga. <laughs> Get up out of here, Johnny. That shit, that corn husker shit you doing, boy? <laughs> Fuck no. Oh my God. That shit, Buck. He uh, was cool back in the day. Hey, I'll give him his kudos with his bitch ass. He was cool back in the day. Mm -hmm. But now, bitch ass nigga, sit your motherfucking ass down. Nigga, <laughs> fall the fuck back, nigga. <laughs> Yo, man, come on. That nigga still wearing them little ass hats. Nigga, creased that bit up. But I'm like, bro, what the fuck? What are you going to change? Fuck, man. <laughs> what are you going to change, fuck. bitch? What are you going to change? Listen, man. Fuck, that nigga. These, gonna, these man. words is for baked up and baked up. <laughs> but nah, um. Yeah. No, I feel you, bro. Shit, nigga, get it out, nigga. Nigga, you can come here to Rap Shack, nigga. Anybody can come on here and vent about whatever, nigga. That's the one thing about us, man. We, we a hood podcast, too. You feel me? <laughs> so we gonna let you come in here, nigga. I ain't tripping, nigga. Nigga, I ain't saying it. Talk <laughs> your piece. My boy just recorded. Yeah, I'm recording this motherfucker. But nah, I respect it, man. I'm a, I'm a real nigga, man. Anybody got problems, nigga, I definitely support fighting. You get yeah. what I'm saying? You definitely ain't talking about no other shit. So, like I said, if it's it's just, you feel, yeah. I definitely support uh, that. Man, you feel I me? Even mind breaking his jaw. That would be. But easy. niggas be like, I don't fight, nigga. You feel me? I'm a fighter type yeah, he's nigga. A, so he's, he's gonna have to fight. He's yeah. not, he's not nothing else nah, but a talker. On. Yeah. Fucking jaws are <laughs> tired of hearing this nigga blood on the game. Hell yeah. So what's up, man? Let's switch it up a little bit. Yeah, what movies sure. you watching, man? Say, oh, actually. Oh. Like, what? What's some of your your favorite shows or movies or something? You got it. You feel me? <laughs> I don't really have no favorite TV show. I don't really be watching TV. I be in tune to, to what's going on around, you know what yeah, I'm You saying? be in the I'm, streets for real. Yeah, huh? I'm trying to, you know, that TV is a distraction, you know what I'm saying? If, no, it ain't, for real. if it ain't, you know, with your lady, and it's a, it's a cool little night, you trying yeah. to hang out. That's what I mean. But, you ain't got, like, no Netflix. You don't watch, like, man, uh, BMF? She, you don't watch BMF? She could choose, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever she put on, I'm just going to chill out. You yeah, know what I'm you don't give a fuck. I'm, yeah. focused, I'm focused on the prize right now, so my mind be wondering. I'm on some other <laughs> shit. I'm trying to get to that bigger bag, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's just like, you know, this is not a time for me right now in my life, you know, where I'm going is to sit down and watch TV. Of course. You know, I can't be distracted. I got to keep my foot on the throttle. Yeah. Full throttle. I you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't halfway in. I'm all the way in. Yeah. So this shit me a little bit more than watching the TV. So <laughs> that 30 minutes, nigga, I could have been cracking those up, nigga, get some cheese, nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? For so, real. Nah, so, nigga. You know, I, I feel that too because I can't watch a movie. I'm gonna be real, like it, it gotta be some kind of like blockbuster type yeah, movie for me to really sit there and be all in it. But man. I can't watch a movie without yeah. being one. I'm a cameraman. We do yeah. the vid, so yeah. I'm sitting there critiquing it differently. Yeah. I don't even see movies how Come people on, see them. Mm -hmm. I see the editing, like okay, damn, that uh, was, you know. So I'm not even watching a movie <laughs> like that one. Now and I then want my I chick just tripping like, Why yeah, you not exactly. I'm on now. My my focus just be yeah. off. It just be crazy, bro. So yeah. I can relate to that. You feel yeah, me? Sure. Like I definitely don't watch TV one. And, and I watch YouTube, if anything. Yeah, That's man. all I watch one. You get what I'm saying? There's so much cornball shit yeah. going on. I'm not really trying to get sucked into that shit. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. I'm cool. I'm yeah. out here really with what's going on. What's mm -hmm. happening? Yeah. This shit is serious. People need to feed their family. You dig what I'm saying? If it ain't coming right, it's going to come right. Yeah. So what's some positive shit going on in, uh, in South Sac right now? Uh, 
You know, it's we football out. season over. I was out there fucking with the Metal View Bulldogs, man. Shout oh, yeah, out they, Nino they, and all they, them. Hey, they working. You know, I got a little cool little program going for the kids to get them out the streets, get them doing something more productive with their time. Because mm-hmm. time is very important when you when you don't have it to waste. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So we're trying to show them a different avenue, a different way to go about things, not to hold grudges, not to, you know what I'm saying, always make your neighbor the enemy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Learn to embrace your neighbor because it might be beneficial at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's not always about uh, being angry, mm-hmm. being being annoyed. You know, sometimes you have to be disciplined, be patient with somebody who's having a hard time. They might not learn the same way you learn. Of so it might, it might not be the same way. So you have to show people a different way. You feel me? And sometimes it might be visual <laughs> versus just, you know, just speaking it. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm just trying to do something different. No, I really Get away from that. the politics, the bullshit. Yeah. I respect that shit, man. You feel me? I respect it. What was I about to say? What, what you had, Kyle? I was going to say, if you're talking about like shows you watch and shit like that, I'm, I like watching the, the documentaries. Yeah, yeah, Hell yeah. go crazy. Like, yeah. I'm, I try I'm to learn attention. some shit. I'm going to keep it real, bro. I was lying. I watch fucking documentaries. <laughs> I watch documentaries and podcasts and maybe some yeah, videos yeah, every now and then. Documentaries is a good thing. I be yeah. watching. I be you know, reading up on a few good people. You know what I'm saying? When they know where they come from, how they, you know, their upbringing. Mm-hmm. Cause you never know until you, mm-hmm. oh, damn, for real. Yeah. You be you understand a little bit more about the person. You a religious yeah. man or what? Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm. I pray. I'm a Christian. You know what okay, I'm okay. You know, I pray. I pray to God. Cause you know what I'm saying. Without Him, I don't know where I'll be. Yeah. Honestly, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to let the devil take me. Yeah. Cause I see what the devil doing to these boys, and I ain't with that. You mm-hmm. dig what I'm saying? I don't, mm, that's not my forte. Yeah. So I'm going to stick to the script. You know what I'm saying? If he bless me, he bless me. If he don't, he don't. You mm-hmm. dig what I'm saying? But I ain't going to go put my life on the line for some shit I don't, I don't want and I don't need. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? For sure. Put some artists in your playlist right now. Who you slapping? Other than your own shit, man. Don't say the the typical shit, man. You feel me? Nah, I got Drada, Dola, mm-hmm. CML, Fat Filthy, Money Murph. You know GT to P. You know YB. You know I keep I keep it authentic. I keep it locally. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, well, let uh, me ask you a real question. Mm-hmm. Have like I know y'all hate these niggas. Have you heard a Mozzie song fully ever? Mm-mm. I can't even stand the sound. Mm. I just instantly cut it off. Mm. So yeah. you've never, he's, uh, like, I'm not, no, I, cool. I don't want to bring he's it up, cool. but uh, but he's the biggest artist of the city, honestly, mm-hmm. to right. ever come out, right? No, you've never cool. listened to a whole song. Mm-hmm. That's like a nigga from Philly never listening to Meek Mill. Like, I don't, I've never heard a Meek Mill song type shit. Nah, he ain't no. as big as Meek, but nah. I'm just speaking on to the bigness. 30 seconds is what he That's, gets. Right. That's it. 30 you seconds. might just hear the part where he might have dissed y'all Cut or something. It off. Yeah. I, don't, I don't give a fuck Damn. what's next. You know what I'm saying? I just That's how, crazy. But you know what I'm saying? This is, I mean, because I, the reason why I ask is because he is a rapper. You yeah. are in the rap game. You yeah, are competing sure. as a rap. Like, yeah. fuck the beef shit. Yeah, yeah, you like, nigga, you should kind of, like, respect the fact of the art, too. Yeah, but if y'all, like, it's super, you, like, fuck everything. You, you can respect art from a far distance, too. I respect it. You dig what I'm saying? I respect you don't got to see art up close to like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's cool. Right. Yeah, everybody's over there yeah, watch, yeah, looking yeah, at that I, picture. Then we, yeah. I'm come looking at this picture right here. Right, I'm, mm-hmm. trying to, I'm trying to fill in this blank. You I dig what I'm you. saying? Yeah. So you know, kudos. Mm-hmm. No hater. Yeah. Keep you know, keep doing what you're gonna do. Mm-hmm. But other, at, the, at the end of the day, mm-hmm. I get you. No way, Jose. I've been dying to ask that. You feel me? Yeah, Just as, so. like if anybody's real, like nigga, not nah, like you feel me? But yeah, that's nah. real, and yeah. I can believe that. Yeah, I, sure. I really believe you when you said that. Like nigga, hell, like yeah, I ain't nah, listened to what? one whole song. Yeah, for what? You, yeah. Right, and I'm sure yeah. you know. I'm sure it's the same on both sides yeah. and shit. You get what I'm saying? But that, it's a lot like of as a rapper I though, listen to it's like a lot of main rappers. I don't even listen to right because because why would I listen to you saying some shit that you're really not doing you like you like being a puppeteer you're saying some shit that's getting other people hurt mm-hmm. that's not valid in my eyes right. you dig what I'm saying cornball shit so I don't want to listen to no fakes you feel me yeah if you're not if you're not if you're yeah. out here trying to help 
the people you know who who struggling that you know and you still crazy hell no nah. right. i don't respect it you dig what i'm saying so I guess you know, you. it's only a select a few people i'll listen to you know what i'm saying because i know the other people are going to tell on you <laughs> after they say they rap, <laughs> after they do they rap, and, and no wonder because all your list was all your niggas. Yeah, Tola, sure. and you, uh, the artists uh, in your playlist. They're my you favorite said. rappers. Of they're, my, they're my favorite rappers. I, I don't know about nobody them. else. They're my favorite rapper. They inspired me to keep on going. Right. You know what I'm saying? I push them. Mm -hmm. I rather listen because I know what's going on with them. Yeah. These jabronis, I don't know what's going on. Y'all can say a whole <laughs> lot of tough shit, but man, shit don't be getting handled. Right. Y'all still be letting Rat Tattoo you walk around this motherfucker. <laughs> Six Niner. What the fuck, man? Hell nah. That's crazy. Right. That's really crazy. For he ain't real. coming to Sacramento doing no shows. Right. Hell nah. Fuck no. Nigga get kidnapped. Nigga, man. you gonna send that nigga with a, a bean burrito, nigga, here. Nigga, get a fat here. Keep that boy right there. Fuck that nigga. All this motherfucking weed, I feel like a bee burrito oh, too. That's gonna be fire, that motherfucker too. Nah, man, he wants to. He man, hell no, nah, we don't fuck with that shit for real. That's nah, that's crazy real. though. That's just a, a goofy question I just want to ask. I'm gonna yeah. ask. I'm gonna ask a Mozzie nigga too one day. Like, man, be yeah. honest. Have yeah. you ever listened to man. one full song? <laughs> they gonna, they gonna Did it even speak shit. my mind, nigga? Nothing. Like, you ain't listened to once. You feel me? Like, this is crazy. But just as a rapper, like I'm, you know, I'm a real hip hop nigga. Like I always say. And I really love the competition. I come up, but we all come up yeah. on, uh, like as much yeah. as everybody For gangsters, sure. niggas is really trying to make money yeah. from yeah. rapping. So right. we are in this industry type thing that, so it's like, okay, we the don't want, we, yeah, we are, we're street niggas and we all got beefs, but at the same time, y'all are all trying to sell records. You know what I mean? Yeah. So in my mind, I'm like, damn, there's still got to be that. In the even though we live on the West Coast and it's gang infested and 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 I just don't understand like some niggas really don't give a fuck about the hip hop part but yet are partaking in this yeah. hip hop art yeah, for sure you know what I mean and and that should be blowing my mind but it, it is what it is I can't stop it's it it's been going on it's a, a general I hope yeah. the new generation does kind of change that at least if you gonna gang bang just use it as like. That's your flag, and you represent that. You ain't gonna that's let nothing happen because all that's niggas. The you, gonna, you know, you, you looking out for right? Them, you because all life, rappers you know? feel like that. Them yeah. niggas feel the same way about they niggas and the way y'all do. Yeah. So it's kind of like, okay, well, it's nigga, if everybody feel that way, nowadays, you, feel you know what I mean? You help change somebody's life. Now they look at you like you're doing something that you ain't supposed to. Right. Versus doing what you, everything you're doing is for your people. You gotta change life because ain't nobody else gonna do it for them if if you're in position to. Right. They gonna be laughing and joking, pointing fingers, man. We don't need that. Period. You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to put no more jobs into the community. You ain't trying to build no more houses for the community. You're trying to rape the whole market and get us out of there. Yeah. Hell no, nah, man. We gonna stick. We gonna stick strong. We gonna we gonna make a way. We gonna uh, figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> well, on that note. We gonna wrap this motherfucker up, man. My, my, what's, what you got coming up next, man? Yeah, yeah, I know I got, we got a couple of videos yeah, we gotta shoot. Shoot some videos, you feel me? So, uh, I'm just going in, yeah. going up. I ain't stopping, you know what I'm saying? Sleepy and all. I'm going to the <laughs> top, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I just feel like ain't no, ain't no resting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but if you want it, you gonna chase it. When you chase it, you gonna obsess it, you know what I'm saying? When you obsess about something, you gonna achieve it. Yeah. You just can't be one foot, <coughs> one foot, one foot out. Yeah. That ain't gonna never work. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? You're gonna be running a fucking circle. Yeah. Fucking with the same fat bitch you've been fucking with for the last <laughs> two years. Thinking, fuck that. Hey, for real. Well, man. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Wrap it up. I haven't done it in a minute. Oh, you want to do the wrap it up before yeah. before we wrap it up? Cause I got some. I got something to say. All right. Well, we are gonna do a segment. <laughs> we gonna do it especially for Kyle. You feel me? Uh, <laughs> wrap it up. We where you basically each guess. We each of us give one um, person, company, thing. thing, anything that you think, nigga. It could be motherfucking. But they need to wrap it. It's up. time to wrap it up this Stop year. You what feel you me? Doing. Yeah. yeah. So. And, and just to, <laughs> just to set the example, Kyle, we gonna start it off with you, man, because you seem eager. I didn't even have nothing, but I'm gonna think of something <laughs> when you go. Hey, but some, you know, how he get to catch us off guard. Catch him <laughs> off guard I got you. So, Me in right. there. Mm, so I had a little incident with Thunder Valley this last weekend. I'm not gonna go fully into it, but I'm gonna <laughs> tell you that 
Thunder Valley. Your fucking security guards need to wrap it the fuck up. Y'all fucking pieces of shit. What? You don't know how to do your job. And I'm going to not stop until you motherfuckers get fired because you're going to get somebody killed. And you're also going to fucking, you, you fuck with people for no reason. So I got your number. Anyway. Ooh, that sound personal, man. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna get to the story because it's deep, Mm-mm. and he told me off I'll camera. Be for a different day. And I respect it. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. but I can't, I don't know if I because that's the well I ain't been to the new casino because I was gonna say that's the only casino I be I've ever been to in Sac, and that should be lit. Yeah, I done want hella money out that motherfucker, but the security. Fuck the security, Fuck the security. Man. Damn, Fuck man. The security. And you know what's crazy is th- they can be as crazy as they want to be because they're like, ain't it like because they're like Indian or something? Like that's, they own that's private property. Private property. So they can them, kick you out for because they want to. Right. That's what that's I'm their rules. Yeah. And that's the fucked up part because I made them look stupid as fuck, and then they ended up and they kicked me out, and I have to appeal in a year to come back. And they and they and there's no like yeah, they won't even give me answers. I'm like, why'd you kick me out? Zero, they're like, well, 86. it says it says on the document, eighty six. And then they like tell me, <laughs> he said eighty six. It's like that freedom didn't. of speech, <laughs> right? That's why. Oh my god, that's fucked up. So, man, who you got to wrap it up, bank that four four times, uh, man. Uh, who you who uh, in a Wack person? 100 gotta wrap his bitch ass all the way up. Uh, DB the general for sure. He's not even a general. DB the holy, uh, go spiritual. He gotta wrap it up. You uh, dig what I'm saying? The suckers gotta wrap it up. It's our time. You dig what I'm saying? Anybody hating gotta wrap it up. Punk ass bitches, wrap it up. You <laughs> dig what I'm saying? <laughs> Argumentative ass bitches, wrap it up. Go <laughs> bummy, dusty ass, fat head asshole, wrap it up. You dig what I'm saying? Right. You niggas pointing a finger and telling, wrap it up. <laughs> you dig? Any nigga playing six nine still, wrap it up. Right. If you playing Eminem still, wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> 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 oh my nigga, yeah, fall time. It's all good though. Man, know, that's it though. Yeah, okay. Man, who I got to wrap it up? Who did some fucked up shit to me this week? <laughs> 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 the fucking trainer at the job, making you do too much training. Man, hell nah. Uh, I don't know, bro. That's how, it's actually cool. So. But nah, I don't know. I ain't really had nothing. I mean, the shit that I'm gonna say is some personal shit. You feel me? <laughs> I'm gonna get fired up. <laughs> so I ain't gonna go that deep. But nah, uh, we need to wrap it up. Oh, let me. I got something. I'm gonna keep it real. I stay in Davis, right? And because I think it's like a college town, bro. When you go get some fast food from anywhere out there, it's like they don't give a fuck about it. You feel me? Like, it seems like the best food is at the the hometown restaurants. You feel me? Because, and there's so many of those, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, all the, you go to the fast food, it's like bullshit ass service. Well, it's young kids just right. popping the fucking mayonnaise. And bro. And, and so the meat and then cheese. David, and right. There you go. And I'm going I'm to be specific. The Taco Bell. Off of Mace Boulevard. <laughs> 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 nigga, y'all need to fire everybody up over there. All the young kids. Get them niggas out of there. Sometimes I'll just be <laughs> starving coming home from a video. Nigga, that's the only thing open. I want a fucking bean burrito with extra red sauce. And a motherfucking <laughs> taco supreme. Soft taco. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> and then I get the meat. It's... it's First off, I might be in the fucking, it might be me and one other dude in the drive-thru. They're going to take at least 30 minutes. Bro. <laughs> and yeah. they're, and then you get to the window, they're playing, they're joking, they on their Snapchat. They, they doing all <laughs> kind of shit in there. On top of that, then it's like you get your food, it's fucked up. So, man, whoever's in there, whoever's the boss, nigga, y'all niggas need to wrap it the fuck up over there at the Taco Bell on Mays Boulevard, man. Bro, I'm about to take a copy of this over there. <laughs> After this, but I don't hey, give a fuck. This shit. You know, I'm so petty with it, bro. <laughs> gonna pass it around. I'm gonna keep it real, and niggas don't do this. And I was so mad, I actually made a motherfucking review 
<laughs> complaining about it. You feel me to that? I'm like, bro, this shit, look, bro, because every single time <laughs> it wasn't just like a coincidence. You know yeah, what I mean? It was like, yeah, you were fuck them. You were upset. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rap Shack podcast, man. Episode ten, my nigga. Stacking crates. Stacking crates. My nigga, four times, four man. Four times. Four appreciate times. you. Mm-hmm. Appreciate yeah, you. Appreciate Episode 10. Nice all up. We out this motherfucker. Audi. Yeah, we out of fight that. Nigga mad, he gon' meet up, yeah, with Pac. I got sub when it hit, nigga drop. He a sack of shit, little dirty bitch. I got something, make that nigga do a flip.